Okay, kids, I hope you've had a, another awesome lesson. And I think I've said that a few times now. No, I really do. I hope you're really enjoying the program. The whole idea is I want you to get down there. I want you to listen and learn to these stories that we're sharing with you. So I was back in a, a Sydney school and I brought out my mobile phone. <clears throat> and this is the lesson I want to teach you about material things. I said to the boys, I said, hey guys, got the new mobile, S30. And they gone, oh, but there's only an S20 out there. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have found a way of getting my hands on the latest, greatest phone, the S30. So I put the phone away and I brought it out again. I said, hey, oh, they'll show you my new phone. They went, yeah, yeah, it's the S30. Yeah, yeah. I said, forget that, forget that. I said, this is the glass, unbreakable, unbreakable. Hit it with a sledgehammer this morning, didn't even break. I put my phone away. And I said, hey, oh, kids, a shame a new phone. They went, well, yeah, S30, unbreakable glass. Yeah, 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 forget that. 50 megapixel camera, front and back, front and back, 50 megapixels, you know? And then I put my phone away. And I brought my phone out. I said, oh, guys, a shame a new phone. They're going, oh, yeah. S30, unbreakable glass, 50 megapixels. Yeah, yeah, forget all that. The, the plastic, the plastic on here from the moon, from the moon. Now I kept doing this and I'm saying to you over and over, you can keep collecting material things. I said, but that's not what you want to do. This lasted two minutes in the class, the best phone in the world. And in two minutes, all of my three classes said, it's just a phone. And the things you get, when you win your medals, it's great. But remember, to win the medal, it's not about the medal. It's about who you become in reaching that. Did I help others along the way? Or was I just selfish and focused just on myself? Now I have a person in my class that's a seven times national champion. Now you think about this for a second. Right? He's won all the medals, but I've never won a national title but I helped him win seven national titles. And I was telling his class one night, and I said to him, I said to the class, this is John, it's right, John has won blah, 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 seven national titles, and all of a sudden he said, oh, excuse me, Master Paul, could I interrupt you for a second? I said, well, yes, John. And he turned to me and he says, I don't know whether I've publicly thanked you for the difference you've made to my life. And I just looked at him, I walked to him and I hugged him like a son. Those words will live with me forever. That I gave to such a person to change their life. Now that's what I want you to think of. Do you want the latest, greatest phone? Or do you want to build a friendship with the person next to you that lasts a lifetime? Because you're gonna go through difficult times in life and wouldn't it be great if that person's right next to you saying, I got your back, I'll be there for you anything you want you just ask me and they even knew you better than that and they know how to step in and help you before you even ask for it that is building something so much better than having the greatest mobile phone or the greatest bike or the greatest whatever i said that's not what you want to have you want to build a friendship that lasts a lifetime thank you